Cloud computing is the greatest technology developed in recent decades that paved the way for all other technological development. Individuals and business organizations use it to make the job easy and fast. Cloud computing delivers most of the services online, and hence the benefits it offers are also more. It is used by other technologies like artificial intelligence, big data analytics, blockchain, etc. In this video, we will discuss cloud computing in detail with its types and benefits. First, let me address the agenda for today's session. We will start our session with a brief understanding of what exactly is cloud computing. Then, we will understand how cloud computing works and who uses cloud computing. Moving on, we will discuss the different types of cloud computing and conclude the session, talking about the major benefits of cloud computing. I hope the agenda was clear. Before we start with our session, if you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about cloud computing and various cloud certification training courses, such as AWS Solution Architect Associate, AWS Developer Certification, AWS SysOp Certification and Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Training, contact our experts or visit our website. The necessary information is given in the description box below. Without any further ado, let us get started with the first topic, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the concept of providing various services over the internet. It transforms the computing infrastructure into an easier and more accessible manner. We can easily access applications remotely, store them remotely, and move everything to the cloud-based services. The base of cloud computing is the internet. If you have internet access, you can access all your needs remotely. Cloud computing is mainly based on the information technology resources available physically. The basic concept is to locate all the infrastructure in any different location and access it easily and at any time. Many organizations prefer to move to cloud computing, considering its advantages. It reduces the cost of purchasing different computing components on their own. Cloud computing is used for accessing physical data centers, servers, storage, computing power, databases, networking components, etc. It is a capsule where all the infrastructure components are filled together. You can access them as per the requirement. There are many different cloud service vendors in the market, and you have to choose based on your needs and cost. Amazon Web Services or AWS, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure are the top performers in the market with experience and features available. Now, to understand cloud computing better, let us learn how cloud computing works. Have you ever wondered how this is possible and how the data and applications are stored? Yes, there will be a server and storage location located remotely, which you can access through remote credentials. The access provided will be free or paid, depending on the usage. A simple example of cloud computing is Google Drive. It is an application that is used by most of us. The server and storage for Google Drive are located in some locations, and we are accessing the storage and application with the login credentials. The front-end application will help access the server and storage stored in a different location. You will not have any private server, and it will be a shared server provided as per the plan you have selected. For example, Google provides 15 gigabytes of storage for free, and if you need more space, you have to choose the plan and pay according to that. The plans are based on monthly rental and annual rental. Thus, this is somewhat related to renting a house. Suppose you think yes, then you got the point right. If the more facilities and space are available, the more you need to pay. Likewise, you need to pay more if you need more space and features. Now, let us move on to our next topic and see who uses cloud computing. Cloud computing is used for both personal as well as organizational needs. To answer who does need cloud computing, you need to know where it is helpful. Cloud computing is used widely in software development, data backup, storage, disaster recovery, virtual desktops for employees, data analytics, etc. In addition, every department in the business organization needs cloud computing to make things easier. Apart from information technology, cloud computing is used in various industries like manufacturing, medical, education, gaming and entertainment, agriculture, etc. The actual need for cloud computing is to reduce the organization's space, teams, employees, and so on, to run the organizational needs. Business organizations demand cloud computing for all their needs. Irrespective of the organization's size, the processes used are the same. Cloud computing helps organizations rent the computing needs from the cloud vendors. With this, the need to set up specialized infrastructure is reduced. Organizations pay as per the need of the features and the usage. The implementation and the maintenance costs of the server, storage, network, and database are reduced. I guess you have some idea about cloud computing. Now, 
let us move on to our next topic and see the different types of cloud computing. While dealing with the types of cloud computing, there are two concepts. One is the services they offer, and the other is the deployment model. Each of these two models has three basic categories. Firstly talking about the cloud computing services. Cloud computing is divided into three categories based on the usage and features provided to the users. The first is, infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service or IaaS is a cloud service where infrastructure or computing components are delivered through the cloud. With the help of the internet, users can easily access the computing components like servers, storage, and networking. The second is platform as a service. Platform as a service or PaaS is a cloud service in which the computing platform is provided to the users through the internet. In addition, software development tools and other requirements are provided for the developers with which they can develop the software application. The third is software as a service. Software as a service or SaaS is a cloud service where software applications are delivered through an online cloud platform. Most of us use SaaS daily, as Google Drive is an example. It is used for accessing software applications from a remote location. Next, let us talk about the three types of cloud deployment models. Depending on the ways of deploying the cloud services in an organization, cloud services are categorized into three models. First is private cloud. The cloud deployment is used by a single business organization where only internal employees can access available resources. The services and other infrastructure will be privately inside the organization's premises. Second is public cloud. It is a cloud deployment model for delivering cloud services to the users via the web browser. Third-party cloud service providers will handle this public cloud where users can access the resources with a single login. Third is hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud is a cloud model where both public and private cloud model is combined. The organization can select between the services and infrastructure to provide for the internal employees and the other users with this hybrid cloud. This was about the different types of cloud computing models. Now, let us move on to our next topic and understand some major benefits of cloud computing. Cloud computing offers several benefits for both personal usage and business organizations. Following are some of the major benefits of cloud computing. First is cost saving. It is the primary benefit as the need for installing servers and storage is reduced. Second is, as everything is accessed via the internet, the accessibility and the speed are highly increased. Next, the third benefit is, the organization's productivity is increased with the increase in access, speed, and features with cloud computing. The fourth benefit is, the computing performance is improved compared to traditional computing modes. The fifth benefit is, with cloud computing, your business will be highly reliable along with the boost in security aspects. These were some of the major benefits of cloud computing. I would like to conclude the session by saying, cloud computing development has provided various benefits to information technology. The size of the power of computing is increased with cloud computing. Many organizations are migrating their services to cloud-based systems to attain their benefits. It is important to select the right cloud service and deployment model while implementing the cloud service in an organization. Security and privacy are increased with cloud computing, where even personal usage is more in cloud computing than local storage. You can easily access all your computing needs with cloud computing technology with a single click. Cloud computing has more features and functions that will be understood during implementation and working with it. So, with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, to learn more about cloud computing and various cloud certification training courses, such as AWS Solution Architect Associate, AWS Developer Certification, AWS SysOp Certification and Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Training, contact our experts or visit our website. All of the necessary information is given in the description box below. Thank you. Have a nice day.